All right, guys. Welcome back, of course. And uh, yeah, today we're talking about you know Blastoise. While I did an episode on Cloyster versus Blastoise, I never really got the chance to talk about how great Blastoise really is and why the changes in this generation are so significant for it. First and foremost, you know, going down the storyboard, Blastoise has never been necessarily relevant. It always had some weird niches and always been able to you know, rapid spin and that's why I use it in generation 6 when it got his mega form even then it wasn't necessarily that good you know, I liked it fine I thought it was great in a league aspect but there were always the better water types there always were better mega forms to choose before mega blastoise and while it's good it's never been necessarily all that relevant then with mega forms gone and C moves gone I definitely thought that Blaster was gonna be obsolete and, uh, you know, forgotten for all the right reasons because, well, let's face it, before Generation 5 it didn't have anything that spoke for it to be necessarily used, but here we are and saying that Blastoise is absolutely fixed. So what did they do? The long story short is they gave it Shell Smash. What this basically meant was that the issue that Mega Blastoise has, which was primarily actually its speed here, that is theoretically solved now. And I think that's kind of weird. Uh, Blastoise stands to be the fastest shell smasher in the game. And uh, I think only Minior for Generation 7 is the fastest one. And that is after it lost its shield form. So with. Taking that out of the equation, keeping your base form, Blastoise is hands down the fastest shell smasher in the game. And it does help that this Pokemon's move pool are so vast with moves like Aura Sphere, Flash Cannon, Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump, Focus Blast, Ice Beam. It does quite right and even as a physical move pool to uh, of course abuse with the Liquidation, Ice Punch and Earthquake and you know for the plethora of actually getting body pressed this generation together with Skull Bash and Iron Defense. There is a lot of things to desire with this Pokemon because it has a high defense stats. If you're gonna go for a more defensive set, trust me, a combination of Scald and Body Press huh. might solve the most things naturally. It is a Pokemon that unfortunately lost Refresh this generation, and while it didn't define it as well as Melodic did, it was a niche for it as it did keep itself afloat. And of course, the C Refresh back in Generation 7 did recover its HP. We don't have that anymore, however. It is still bulky enough to you know, solve a few situations and it got life to this generation to be able to recover at least 25% of its HP, so it's not your bulky spinner. While it can define it, it is clearly bulky enough to pull something like that off, what does define this Pokemon is Shell Smashing because, oh, because of Shell Smash, its damage output is now above what Mega Blastoise ever could have been. Then the speed to its resolve, which might have been the Achilles heel after Mega Blastoise, which didn't get anything as it was Mega Evolving, making it susceptible to faster both grass and electric tire to be taken out. Now that is no longer an issue. After Shell Smash, you're not only outspeeding Scoffer at 120 base speed, you are very likely to deal with any matchup in this moment OU. And with the right stacking, Blastoise can rightfully sweep. It is maybe not the most ferocious special attacker out there, nor is the physical attack that high. But after Shell Smash of plus 2, it does make you very, very flexible to hurt things badly. And this is something that Blastoise has never really been able to do. It had the capability of maybe doing it. Now it will do to Shell Smash, absolutely doing it. And that is why I believe Pokemon resolved the Blastoise probably main issue, which is his damage output. Sure, like I said here, something like a recovery and really, really defining its defensive role would have been nice. But what it does now is something that is quite unique. It is a salt water type with a broader move pool than Barbarical, broader move pool than Cloister, which means in a league aspect you can pinpoint matchups and you can go both ways, both special and offensive. And that is why Blaster is an absolute blast to use this generation. So thank you everybody for watching. I really hope want to hear you guys what you think about Blaster itself. Do you miss the Mega Form? And you know what would Mega Blasters be with? Shell Smash. This attack, of course, long overdue. It is one of the first shell cracking Pokemon. You figured that you'd make it smash, but we had to wait 25 years for that to happen. But at least now he got it. So, with that said, thank you for watching and have a great day. Take care.